Okay, quick recap. I really like the resin quality, but his joints are kind of snappy and he doesn't get a lot of range of motion in the torso, but he's so cute. <laughs> On to Blue Fairy Blossom Body. Um, oh wait, let me shut that off. Okay, a few things to keep in mind with this one. She is hot glue suede, except it's kind of coming off in a few of her joints, but there's still enough there that I can definitely see a difference from when I first got her. So if you're looking for straight out of the box review, I will say that she couldn't even lean forward. Like I would lean her over and she'd snap and she'd snap and she'd snap and she'd just slip and slide all over the place. Um, same thing with her arms. She couldn't hold her arms up. She couldn't hold her elbows where I put them before I swayed her. So it was really necessary <laughs> to swayed her. Um, I, I can't remember if her neck was snappy, but I, for some reason, her hot glue swaying in her neck is kind of hard to move. And I, I don't know if that's because of the way her neck is attached to her head cap, but you kind of have to do like a lift and move instead of a move. Yeah, start from the top. Um, oh, hold on, I forgot Big's head cap, hold on. Sorry guys, I forgot. Okay, um, Zoom Teeny Gems, I don't know if the normal ones are like this, but the monthly dolls at least have magnetic ones, and they're a little bit difficult to pull off for me just because I keep my nails very short, <laughs> and the opening is not really finger friendly considering how smooth and nice this resin is. So you kind of have to dig your nails in and pull up. And usually it's a lot harder than that for me. I don't know why. But yeah, there's magnets inside. It says teeny gem. Pretty cute. And then you just put it back. So that's that. Her head cap, again, is very kind of basic. It's just the pop-off head cap. And I am using a rubber band right now connected to the top to keep it on. It's not my favorite kind of head cap system but the blue fairy head is so big and it's very it's not as thick as other dolls like this is very thin compared to a lot of dolls that i've had so there's a lot of room in there to really move eyes around and do what you need to do so i think that's nice um what i think is kind of odd is that there's no like s hook slot to rest the s hook in like a lot of other dolls have it's just kind of like big hook little hole and that's it her Oh, resin quality is really nice, again, one of the nicer ones, which has actually surprised me when I first got her. Her seams aren't sanded, but they're not really that obvious either, like her thighs are mostly totally smooth except for the tiniest little bump. Her arms definitely are the worst, but they're not at all bad <laughs> compared to like my mini fee. Well, actually, I don't... I'm gonna... My little fee, not my li mini fee. She has a lot worse seams than she does. and. This resin is really, really, really smooth and nice, so I, I'm really, I like this resin a lot. And she's a limited edition, so she has Blue Fairy's white skin, which is definitely my favorite white skin of all time. I've seen a few different white skin dolls, and I used to own a white skin Chiwu, and I've seen other white skin dolls at meets from other companies, and I think hers is just the nicest I've seen, because it's not stark white, and I'm not really a fan of that. It's more like a very, very, very light peach. So it still has some color, so she doesn't look dead. <laughs> but that's just my opinion on white skin. Um, her neck. Like I said before, I can't remember. I'm so sorry, but I can't remember when I first got her how she posed with her neck being unglue suited. But for right now, when she is hot glue suited, it's fantastic. <laughs> like, you can see she's staying mostly everywhere I put her. Let me get her kind of straightened up here. I think she looks up pretty well, and she can look almost all the way down. The only thing I find kind of weird, and this might just be kind of me being picky about the sculpt, what's up with these ears, man? <laughs> look at these things, they're so weird, man, they're not even, they're just so, ugh, they're really thin and just, they creep me out a little bit, I don't know, there's something about them that just freaks me out, but that's what wigs are for. When I first got her, she could not hold her arms up worth anything. <laughs> okay, like, see now, she can actually, they stay where I put them. 
when I first got her, they were flopping all over the place, and she couldn't bend them either that well. And it was just, oh, hot glue. And it was just a big nightmare. So she definitely needed to be hot glue suede. Same with her wrists. They really didn't hold a pose that well before I glue suede them. But now that I suede them, they're perfect. They have, oh, um, I think this is worth mentioning. Blue fairies actually have oval shaped, oh, hello there. Blue fairy dolls have oval egg shaped joints, which is supposed to help in their posing actually. And I've heard a lot of people say that they've seen a lot of differences between that and normal ball joints, but in my experience it didn't do anything. The resin was too smooth to really hold any poses, so she needed to be suited. Um, her elbows are kind of funky looking too. They're like, you know, got that weird bumpy thing. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So, oh, and her wrists are three piece with this random little resin bead in there, but it actually works really nicely and she can hold, she has one, she has one of the best wrist posers out of all of my dolls, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so those are her arms. Her waist, I think she gets pretty good motion in her waist, like she can lean, put your arms up there, she can lean forward pretty well, can definitely lean backwards well and hold that because she's been suede. You can see the piece there. So you can kind of see how far she's bending. This is kind of the notch I was talking about. You can kind of see how the edges of this are indented. So if I wanted to and I put this here, it would stay. And I love, 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 love when dolls have that. So the back is missing it though, which is strange because if you flip it around, see it's nice for keeping dolls bent forwards. So, that <laughs> looks so funny, but I just don't understand why they only have it in the front. If it was in the back, that would be so much nicer, but yeah. So, with hot glue suiting, she poses very, very nicely in her waist and her arms. Um, thigh joint is really just kind of your standard thigh joint, you know, circle, one cut, that's it. That's what the inside looks like. She is also suited here because... I, I don't, I don't really know, <laughs> probably because she couldn't pose either. I didn't play with her for that long when I first got her. I mean, <laughs> I could tell she didn't pose and I swayed her within like a half an hour. So I really am having a hard time remembering exactly how she was, but you can see she holds her leg. There's no locking mechanism here, so it's just kind of like free to move all around, but her leg does stay where I put it, which is nice and it can stay at a bunch of different positions. So, yeah, her knees are just kind of, again, pretty standard, weird kind of kneecap, but that's all right. These didn't take the suading so well, so there's only like a teeny little bit in there, but it, it really actually does help. Uh, I think that definitely the weirdest part about this doll is the feet, because usually the ball joint is either on the foot or separate from both the leg and the foot but hers is on her ankle if I could get this all right <laughs> yeah see it's actually connected to her ankle which is kind of weird but it works I mean she's got a pretty good range of motion in here and they usually stay where I put them which is nice Okay, so overall for Blue Fairy, the resin quality is really, really nice, and I really like this resin a lot. Um, and she is probably one of the best posers I've ever had after Hot Glue Suiting. Not before. Before, very, very bad. After, very good. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, well, that's my Blue Fairy and Soom Teeny Gym review. So, uh, hopefully I covered everything. If I didn't, just let me know, and I will definitely try to redo this. Um, I'm still not feeling that great, so <laughs> I hope that uh, this video was tolerable this week. Um, again, we still have auditions open, so definitely feel free to audition or re-audition or just resend in your first audition tape if you're interested. Um, yeah, so if I survive my SATs next Saturday, I'll see you guys in two weeks, so bye!